When you give a presentation, your aim is to keep your audience engaged, right? Now, sometimes to do that, you can add videos to your PowerPoint presentations. And sometimes the videos that you want to add are on YouTube. So how can you insert these YouTube videos in your presentation? And maybe you don't want the video to start right from the beginning. You want it to start somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But I also want to show you something really cool where we're going to combine this feature together with the Zoom feature. This is something that's going to make it easy for you to involve your audience. And it's also going to make the whole presentation more professional and memorable, I'd say. So let's take a look. I'm in PowerPoint and I want to insert a video on this slide. I'm going to go to insert all the way to the side here under media, you're going to see video. And because my video is on YouTube, I'm going to select online videos. Now this dialog box has changed recently, so you might see a smaller dialog box, but what you're going to have is this box here where you can input the address of your video. So I'm going to switch to YouTube and let's say I'm interested to share this video. To get the link, click on share and right here, that's the link that we need. If we copy this and use this link, the video is going to start from the very beginning. If you want the video to start at a specific point, you can place a check mark here and update this yourself. Or another way is to just go to the part that you want. So let's say I want to share this tip here, add value as percentage of grant total. I'm just going to click on that and now go to share and place a check mark here. I'm going to copy this. Now let's go back to PowerPoint and paste the link right here. In the preview, we're going to see the video then click on insert. Now we have the video on our slide and we can adjust the size just like you would with any object in PowerPoint. In addition, we get some more options up here. Under video format, we can adjust the color here. We can update the poster frame. So the poster frame is this image that you see right here. Now, right now, this might look a bit blurry, but don't worry because when you switch to presentation mode, it's going to correct itself. In case you want to use your own image here, though, you can go and select image from file. You have an option to upload an image. You can use stock images, online pictures, or use an icon. In this case, I'm going to go from file and I'm going to use this image right here, insert it, and I've changed that poster image. If I want to reset it at any point in time, I just have to click on reset. In addition to this, you can select a video style. You can adjust borders, add video effects and arrange it the way you want. Now under playback, you're going to notice that most of these options are grayed out. They aren't available for online videos, but the important one that you're probably going to need is this one right here. And that's how you want to start your video. Do you want it to be in click sequence? Do you want it to start automatically so the moment the slide shows, the video is going to play? Or do you want to play this whenever you actually manually click on it? I'll just leave it as is. Now let's take a look at this in presentation mode. This was in click sequence. So first I saw my image and then it shifted to the video. And now when I click, the video plays. Let's take a look at the other option here. So this was automatically. I'm going to switch to presentation mode and it automatically plays. So notice that whenever it's playing, it's playing from that moment that I'd selected originally. Now the other option was when you click on this and that's pretty clear, right? So if I go to presentation mode and I actually click on this video, then it's going to play. That's how you can insert a YouTube video here but now let me show you a really cool combination of this with the zoom feature. Okay, so I've already set up some slides in advance. What I want to do is a presentation for my team that informs them about the latest topics in PowerPoint, Excel and Power Automate. But I want to set this up in an interactive way. So I come to the slide and then I ask them, what do you want to learn today? If they tell me Power Automate, I'm going to click on an icon that I'm going to put here and it's going to take me directly to the Power Automate slides. 
which includes videos, but it can also be some standard text slides. Then once we're done, we're going to come back to this view. And then if they tell me they want to learn about PowerPoint, we're going to jump to that topic. The PowerPoint Zoom feature is great for these type of presentations. Now I've already gone ahead and set up some slides. These are YouTube videos. Some of them automatically play. Some play whenever we click and some play at a specific point in the video, right? So depending on the topic that I want to share with my team. Now notice I just have a white background here, but for Power Automate, I have this fancier background. Now, because each topic has more than one slide, it makes it easier for me if I create sections here. This way I can group the topics by section. So right here, I'm going to right mouse click add section and call this the PowerPoint section. The Excel section starts from here. So right mouse click add section, call this Excel. This part is for Power Automate. Let's add one for that as well. Now I have my slides grouped into these different sections. So let's go back to the main slide and insert zoom. So go to insert zoom section zoom. These are the different sections that I have. In this case, the specific topics that I want my team to learn about. So the moment I inserted them, I get a preview of that first slide. And I'm just going to take that preview and position them on top of the correct topic. Okay, so, so far so good, but this doesn't look so professional. The functionality is there though. So let me show you how easy that is. If I go to presentation mode and they select PowerPoint, I click on this. I automatically go to the PowerPoint slides and this is automatically playing. So then I can switch to the next slide where we cover the important points about the zoom feature and then the next slide. In this case, we're jumping directly to a specific tip in the video. And now check this out because we're finished with that section. When I click again, we go back to the main slide here. This happens because by default under the zoom options here, we have a check mark for return to zoom. So in case yours is not going back, make sure that you have a check mark here. Okay. So the functionality is there, but it doesn't look so professional to make this look better. We can take advantage of some of these other options here. So one option is to remove the zoom background. This makes your reference slides blend in better with your main slide. So check this out. I removed the zoom background for that one. When I go here and now I click on this, the background isn't white anymore, but this part is white. I'll show you why that is in a second, but this part is blending in well. So let's go back to our main slide here. Now, when I click on this, that white part that we saw is coming from this background here, right? Because I removed the background of the slide. It's taking in that white from my X lookup one. I don't want this look either because I don't want to show them the first slide. I want to change the complete image here. So I'm going to go back to zoom here and go to change image and change the image. I'll go with from file. And for the first one, I want to insert the PowerPoint logo and I want to do the same for the Excel one. So select that slide, go to change image. And this time we're going to go with Excel and for power automate as well. Let's change it to the power automate logo. This looks a lot neater if I want the Excel slides to blend in as well. So their background isn't white, but this color here, I'm going to go and remove that zoom background. Now for power automate, I want to leave that background because I like that fancier gray background that I have for them. So I'm going to leave that. But what I don't want is that border around the power automate icon here. So to get rid of that, I'm going to go to zoom, zoom border and select no outline. Now let's take a look at what we get. Okay. So I asked my team, what do they want to learn today? They say we want to start with Excel. So we go to the Excel slide. Notice we have a clean background here. Now, when we're done with this, we go to the next video and the video is going to play. And once we're done, we go back to our main slide. Now we're going to jump to power automate. We get our slide background that we have in the power automate slides because we didn't remove the slide background. We're going to go to this video, the, the next one. 
and then we're going to go back to Power Automate and then we can go to PowerPoint and so on. This was my bonus tip. This is one way that you can integrate the Zoom feature in your presentations. As you can see, it's really easy to add a YouTube video to your presentation. So let me know what you think. Are you currently using videos in your presentations or are you planning to use some? Let me know in the comments. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and I'm going to see you in the next video.